What's up, YouTube? This is Soccer Boy Coop, aka The Break King, coming to you with a Pokemon TCG update. And today we're gonna be talking about more celebrations. We got an update on celebrations, which is going to be the 25th anniversary set coming out in November. Uh, it's really exciting stuff. Uh, we recently we got a leak of like different boxes that were coming in, what we expected, the names of the cards, but not a ton of pictures. We saw some stuff with the Dragapult, Zacian, uh, we had like the Light Toxtricity, I believe, stuff like that. Uh, those are all still happening, but we got some new card images that we saw in a very big reveal that I don't think it's 100% confirmed yet, but if it is uh, legit, uh, it's very exciting. It makes me, it's gonna make a lot of people want the set even more. Bad news for trying to find it. Good news, it's a very cool card. So let's get into it. First up, we have images now for Dark Sylveon and Lance's Charizard. Uh, shout out to my previous video where I confused Lance and Leon. <laughs> that was embarrassing. But we finally got images of that. So we have Dark Sylveon which is either a ho ho homage, homage, homage to uh, Team Rocket, where they had dark Pokemon, or it was uh, like Neo Destiny, where there's light and dark Pokemon. My, th my thought, probably Neo Destiny, uh, even though we do already have a light Toxtricity, I guess we still need a dark, but, but when you think of Sylveon, you don't think Team Rocket with Sylveon. Uh, you also don't think Dark in general is Sylveon, so it's a weird combination. But we have Dark Sylveon V. Um, so we have the image. It's not great. Um, we see, we just see the back of Sylveon. It's just the back of Sylveon. You see a side eye kind of thing. Like it's a dark, evil, I don't know. It's not. They could have done better. I thought they could have done better. It's not my favorite. Uh, next we have Lance's Charizard. Again, da da da, Lance's Charizard. <laughs> um, it's all right. Uh, I'm pretty sure the idea behind Lance's Charizard is that it is like Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, where you know, the gym leaders, uh, which Lance is not gym leader, so he's Elite Four member. That's confusing. But we had like stuff like Misty's Tentacruel, Misty's Seedra, Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, that kind of stuff. But the they weren't in the card. It was just their Pokemon, and the name was on the card. This is Lance's Charizard, so it has Lance's Charizard, kind of like that. But Lance is on the card, so... I don't know. And also, I mean, the big thing is... So now that I'm not confusing Lance and Leon, so at first when I thought it was Leon, I was like, yeah, that makes sense, Leon and Charizard, we get it. Lance and Charizard, like... Lance, yes, he had a Charizard uh, in the Elite... When you battle him in the Elite Four, that's not what he's known for. Lance is known for Dragonite. Where? Why are we not doing Lance's Dragonite? That would have been amazing. I would like that card. Lance's Charizard, it's like, well, we need a Charizard, I guess, because it's Charizard, right? So, there's our Charizard. Um, again, not the best, but I'll be, I, I mean, I'm still a collector. I'll be getting it. Everyone else will be getting it. So, there they are. Uh, next, we have a bunch of Pikachu cards that have been revealed, which makes sense. Pikachu is the mascot, of course, of Pokemon, so we get a lot of Pikachus with celebrations. Uh, first, we got a Pikachu VMAX, which is like the Chonkachu. It's a little bit, it's, a, it's like a cuter VMAX. This is like a, this giant Pikachu that's like, like celebrating, like arms in the air kind of thing, like coming in for a hug or something like that. It's very cute. I really like it. We also have a Pikachu V, uh, which is like a more, it's like an action shot. It's got like electricity shooting out of its cheeks, kind of like mid jump cartoonish type image thing. It's cool, actually, I really like it. I think it's a really cool promo card. Uh, we also got the Pikachu, uh, what was it? V Union, is it Union V, V Union? I already forgot what it's called, that's the, concept of the four different cards to make one big card. I don't, I still don't like it. Uh, I think V-Union is what it's called. 
Uh, so we got the Pikachu one, which is just a pile of Pikachus. It's a bunch of Pikachus, 25 different Pikachus, all designed by different artists, which is actually really cool. And the good news is this is a promo. Uh, it comes in a promo box. So you get the four cards, but you also get a jumbo promo card of this art. It's very cool. I love the idea, the idea of having every uh, like different artists who do Pokemon cards draw their version of Pikachu. It's just a really cool concept and honestly an amazing looking card. So very excited to get that promo card. V Union thing again, eh, whatever. But you get the Jumbo promo card, which I will be happy to have in my collection. We also got two other Pikachu cards that were revealed for the Japanese version of celebrations that will be coming over into the English version. We are getting surfing Pikachu V Max and flying Pikachu V Max, which <laughs> these cards are so cool and so goofy, and it's just I love the concept behind it. Uh, we've seen surfing Pikachu and flying Pikachu. Uh, they were original promo cards, which were very rare, and then they added them to uh, evolutions, XY evolutions as uh, secret rares and they're very cool cards and then they now brought them into the VMAX so it's Gigantamax Pikachu big old Pikachu it's like balancing on a surfboard with one foot it's huge and the flying Pikachu is also just comical it's very like with the airplane and stuff it's really cool I like them a lot I love the stuff they're doing with the Pikachu honestly uh, and again it makes sense I mean it's Pikachu so that is expected. So the main set, as we, I think we've talked about this before, is 45 cards. Um, there are gonna be four Pokemon V, and these are not the promo cards. So this excludes any of these promo cards that we previously talked about. So uh, the two V Max are gonna be the Pikachu's. We know P the I'm um, yeah, because those are not promo cards. So the V Maxes are the flying. Surfing Pikachu, that is the main set. Um, it's supposed to feature legendary, mythical, and other beloved Pokemon, including Mew. Get back to that. Oh, oh, Zamazenta, Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu. So that's we know the V Max. Uh, then Professor Oak is also going to be. Uh, they're going to have a Professor Oak card, which maybe a full art Professor Oak. That'd be really cool. But this is where we learn about a subset. So we have the main set, but we also have a subset where we recently had a card leaked of part of that subset. We're gonna display that right here. It is a full art, gold, secret rare, shiny Mew. Oh my goodness, this card is gorgeous. I lost my mind when I saw the leaked image and I was like, please be real, please be real. We haven't had a hundred percent confirmation that it's real, but everything about it just, it's, it's, I'm like 95% sure this is a real card. Um, it's got the stamp, it's got the 25 out of 25, everything else about it, it seems legit. Like there's nothing that I would under, uh, make me think there is not going to be a part of this subset so now the question becomes how does the subset pools work um we've had stuff like this with the radiant collection which is a part of generations so uh in those packs you they were normal size packs but you get two cards from the radiant collection one normal and then one rare which could be a full art hollow stuff like that we know with celebrations we're getting mini booster packs of just four cards per pack. So how does it so do you get like do you get one card from the subset? Is the subset gonna be like a rare pool? That's that's kind of the question. My like all we know is there the four the the booster pack contains four hollow cards. It seems like the entire set's just gonna be hollows or V's or V Max, that kind of thing. So we don't have to really worry about that part but it's like uh do we have to hope that we pull one of the subset cards or do we always get like one subset so hopefully 
We get one subset per pack at least. That would make things easier. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get this set in general. So hopefully, hopefully that is the case. Otherwise, you're gonna have to be getting packs and hoping it has one of these 25 cards, and that, that'll make it very tough. Uh, we do have some more info though for that subset. Um, they're calling it the Classic Collections, uh, which is supposed to be based. It's supposed to base off iconic cards from the past. But somehow this Mew is still in it. So that's the other thing that makes you question, like, is that Mew legit? Because that's not a classic collection. Like, yes, there have been shiny Mew cards in the past, but not like this Mew. Uh, and this one, the classic collection is supposed to include, like, the base set Charizard, Gold Star Umbreon, Tapu Lele GX, base set Pikachu. So they're going to be exact reprints of the original cards with the stamp. So... That adds the question again, is this Mew really legitimate? Is It's not a, re, uh, a remake of any sort. It, that would be a brand new card. We've never seen a gold shiny Mew before, but I don't know. We're gonna have to find that out. We do have the Japanese collection coming out fairly soon. It'll be before Celebration, so it might give us a clearer idea of what will be in celebrations but for now we're just kind of having to guess on that uh, again we've seen the boxes for everything uh the promotional boxes that are coming out we know everything about that the cards coming in those um that's it again that's it for now so now the speculation goes is that shiny mew card actually part of the collection uh i really hope so i would i would be so excited uh, i think i saw someone actually bought the card that leaked out, someone bought it for like $2,000, so whoever bought that either but just spent $2,000 on a fake card or they got their hands on an early release of this Mew. So we'll pay attention for some more news on that. Hopefully this Mew is legit, I really hope so. I'm so excited for celebrations, I cannot wait for this set to come out. Uh, let me, guys, let me know in the comments below, uh, Do you want? are you excited for the Mew, are you hoping it's like, I'm assuming everybody hopes it's real. Is that, like, going to be your number one chase card? Uh, what's another card you hope to see if they uh, do add some newer stuff to this subset? Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments, guys, about this uh, celebrations. Are you excited? Are you nervous you're not going to be able to get it? Are you just not even going to buy into the hype? I just want to know. Uh, as always, guys, make sure... You subscribe if you're new, like the video, and again, let's see some comments. Let's talk about celebrations. I'm pumped, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next TCG update.